Welcome back to Sport on 7. I'm Tom Bushell and this is 30 Minutes of Sport for you, of course, every single week. You can get me on Twitter. It's at Tom Bushell UAE. So the first ever UAE American Football League came to an end last week with the first ever Desert Bowl taking place last weekend. The UAE Falcons were the only American football side in the country with just 35 players until eight months ago when a league was formed of four teams. The amount of players increased to 220. It was the Abu Dhabi Wildcats that became the ones to beat during that first season. They went eight games unbeaten and beat the Dubai Stallions 21-12 in the Desert Bowl held at Jebel Ali last weekend. The Stallions are coached by NFL player Andre Somersell, but the league is full of influential people. I spoke to Saeed Suleiman, wide receiver for the Stallions, after that loss to the Wildcats, and Patrick Campos, the coach of the Dubai Barracudas junior team, after they won the Junior Desert Bowl. Well, Saeed Suleiman, a big year it has been, hasn't it, for American football here in the UAE. It all came to a conclusion, of course, over the weekend with the first Desert Bowl game. And sadly, you were on the losing team, the Dubai Stallions, beaten by the Abu Dhabi Wildcats. But for you, talk us through that game. OK, well, hats off to the Abu Dhabi Wildcats. Um, great effort actually put on by them the whole season. Uh, they were a very valiant team that we had to face. And I can't take anything from them. My hats is to them. As well as I really love the way the Dubai Stallions stuck together throughout the whole game. Yes, we were going through hard times the first three quarters. We ended up picking it up in the fourth and scoring on two of our drives. Uh, it's just how it goes in football. On any given Friday, it can go either way. And the best team just showed up and, and they won. They won. They did a great job at that. It was, of course, the first year for the Emirates yeah. American Football League here of course. in the UAE. So after that season, after the first season, what are your thoughts on, on how it's gone and, and, and how to push on next season as well? Well, this is one thing that I'm really impressed with is how far many of our administrative people, uh, Karen and Dustin and Kai, along with the coaches, how they've taken this league and blew it up. Because when we first started three years back, we were running around Suffolk Park, maybe 20 guys, no equipment. And to see that there's a league now, four teams, plus having bowl games and having international matches, this is something like a dream come true for many of these players. Because as you know, like uh, coming from Canada, once after you finish high school and maybe not play in like university level, that's it for you in football. But they've actually given us a chance to continue playing football and that's something that I'm greatly indebted to these people for. And I'm, many other people are as well, along with the junior teams. Were you quite surprised at the level of, of American Football League players over here in the UAE? Was it a, a strong level, a high level? Oh yes, of course, because a lot of the guys I've noticed were coming from um, US, Canadian, German backgrounds and they had a lot of uh, experience in American football, along with the fact that there were so much people so keen and interested to play that they picked up the sport very quickly. There are a couple of players on the Abu Dhabi Wildcats teams that may be playing the sport for two, three years, and they picked it up swimmingly. And now they're probably star athletes in this league, along with players from Al Ain, very experienced folks, and the Dubai Barracudas. Now everyone, of course, sorry, uh, says about the entertainment for halftime at the Super Bowl. Yeah. What kind of entertainment did we have at the Desert Bowl yesterday? Desert Bowl, we had a bunch of uh, <laughs> bunch of fun actually activities for the children, yeah. and uh, adults can also participate. We're having like a pizza box run, supported by one of the sponsors, and uh, just like you know Harley Davidson show in the beginning actually before we actually came on. So we had little things like that here and there. So for fun for the whole family, because as you know, we also have junior and senior league which is uh, comedy by from ages like 6 to 10, 13 to 15, and obviously the senior so. And of course, for you guys, you'll be looking forward now to the new season yes, of course. to try and win it for the first time and yeah. get one back on Abu Dhabi. For sure. For when sure. does that new season start? The new season, I believe, is going to start next September. Uh, but in before then, we're still going to have a, we're going to have like an all-star match, which North versus South. So there's two Abu Dhabi teams, Abu Dhabi and Alain, versus the two uh, Dubai teams, Dubai Barracudas and Dubai Stallions. That'll be happening next week, and then we have like a couple of international games before we wrap up this season. So we're looking forward to that, and you know, a little a little bit more football to play in the UAE. For Fantastic. This well, yeah. best of luck. Have a good Thank summer break, you. and uh, we'll see you again in action next season. All right. Take care. Well, Patrick Campus, uh, a great day for you yesterday. Of course, the, the adult team from Dubai weren't celebrating, but the Dubai Barracudas, the junior team in the American Football League here in the UAE, were celebrating. You're the coach. must feel great to see the kids so passionate and 
good as well. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. A great day for uh, American football and a great day for the Dubai Barracudas. Um, kids were excited and uh, just really unbridled joy coming out as they, uh, as they were holding that, uh, that cup aloft and uh, really an exciting day for uh, American football and for the Dubai Barracudas. Obviously it's been the first season of American football here in the UAE. The first season really has gone very well as well. Can you really see the passion at that youth stage, that young level, for them to go on and, and play for years to come? Yeah, absolutely. The um, you know we we've had sort of um, a couple of teams in the past that scrimmage against each other, but we've uh, this is the first year that we've actually had an organized league uh, built along sort of a, a club model where we had uh, Dubai Barracudas, the Dubai Stallions, the Abu Dhabi Wildcats, and establishing that camaraderie among among the three levels. Um, and we're definitely the kids feed off the energy coming from the adults and the senior level. We're seeing a lot of interest from kids who uh, had previously never played or perhaps in some cases never even heard of American football. Uh, uh, coming from different sports and putting on the pads and uh, feeling what it's like. So certainly something to build on, absolutely. Obviously, it's been a terrific season for Abu Dhabi Wildcats, but Dubai Barracudas at that young age, I mean, is it okay? Do you get worried that, like the city, everyone moves away after a couple of years? Or do you want them to settle here for a good few years so you can really see them progress through into their teenage years? It's a really good question. Um, it is true. This is a transient city and uh, that will impact the continuity, but um, that's why we're really trying to build up an identity, a club type identity, um, so that when people move here, they actually have already heard of not, not, not only the league, but the clubs and the storyline that goes behind the clubs as well to, uh, to develop that enthusiasm. We hope that uh, there are certainly families who stay here for a long time and those children will stay in the program and form sort of a core around which you know some of the new players will come in. But uh, we're actually starting to hear of some of the senior players at the uh, sort of the teenage level who are going to progress on to the uh, adult level, which is a really, really interesting development and, and bodes well for the continuity in the league. Absolutely, and for the Dubai Barracudas, any chance of that second season syndrome next season? They'll be defending champions, of course, so it'll be a, a lot of pressure on them. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we've really identified an identity across all levels. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and predict not just another victory for another victorious season for the junior Barracudas, but for uh, the Barracudas at the other levels as well. Uh, it's a good, good, good new franchise, and come out and support them. So. All right, thank you very much for chatting to me. Thank you very much, it's been a pleasure. Well done to all involved. The new season will, of course, be bigger and better, so make sure you do get involved. It starts in September. Uh, of course, we'll keep you up to date with that season when it gets underway once again. Now, if you've had to play in sport yourself, these tips might be handy for you. Hello and welcome to the Tour Academy at Jameer Golf Estates. My name's Wayne Johnson. Today we're going to talk about a couple of awkward shots golfers face when they're out on the golf course. We want to show you the techniques to help you play those shots more successfully. One of the shots that most golfers fear is very much a downhill lie. We've got a bunker in our way. We're going to try and get the ball up in the air, land on the green. Quite a trepidation shot for a lot of players. I want to show you the technique to help you play this shot successfully. The first mistake that a lot of players make is they take the wrong club. They often go to a very lofted club, a sand iron, the sand iron has a lot of bounce, meaning that the front edge is much higher than the trailing edge. During the stroke, the tendency would for the club to catch the ground, jump into the equator of the ball, thin the ball into the bunker. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to change the club. We're going to go to a gap wedge, a 50, 52 degree angle. It has much less bounce, so the club is not going to jump into the ball. We're going to keep the ball in the middle of the stance, the weight very much on the forward leg, and really important, get your shoulders parallel to the slope for this type of shot. We keep the weight forward, the shoulders parallel to the hill. We make sure to swing with the slope as we play this shot. Let's try one. So we've got the ball in the middle. We've got the weight in the forward leg. Shoulders nice and parallel to the hill. Now we commit to swinging with the slope. If you work with that technique, you're going to have a lot of fun on the golf course. Lower those scores. Thanks for watching Sport on 7 this week. There's still lots to come, so don't go anywhere. We'll be chatting to Chris McCarty next as we talk about the biggest talking points locally in sport. And we'll be back in just a moment on Sport on 7.